Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Daily Morning Prayer. Whether you're joining us live or later today or even on another day, I am very glad that you are with us. So as always, we're going to start with a blessing. And since it's a Wednesday, we will be doing the Confession of Sin. And then we'll be reading from the book of Psalms. Today it is Psalm 119, verses 97 through 120. And then we'll be reciting the Nicene Creed and the Lord's Prayer together. And then we'll be going through the prayers of the people. And we're going to go ahead and get started this morning. From the rising of the sun to its setting, my name shall be great among the nations, and in every place incense shall be offered to my name and a pure offering. For my name shall be great among the nations, says the Lord of hosts. Now we put in the confession of sin in the comments so we can recite it together. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. By what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. All right, now reading Psalm 119, 97 through 120. I love your instruction. I think about it constantly. Your commandment makes me wiser than my enemies because it is always with me. I have greater insight than all my teachers because I contemplate your laws. I have more understanding than the elders because I guard your precepts. I haven't set my feet on any evil path so I can make sure to keep your word. I haven't deviated from any of your rules because you are the one who has taught me. Your word is so pleasing to my taste buds. It's sweeter than honey in my mouth. I'm studying your precepts. That's why I hate every false path. Your word is a lamp before my feet and a light for my journey. I have sworn and I fully mean it. I will keep your righteous rules. I have been suffering so much. Lord, make me live again according to your promise. Please, Lord, accept my spontaneous gifts of praise. Teach me your rules. Though my life is constantly in danger, I won't forget your instruction. Though the wicked have set a trap for me, I won't stray from your precepts. Your laws are my possession forever because they are my heart's joy. I have decided to keep your statutes forever, every last one. I hate fickle people, but I love your instruction. You are my shelter and my shield. I wait for your promise. Get away from me, you evildoers. I want to guard my God's commandments. Sustain me according to your word so I can live. Don't let me be put to shame because of hope. Support me so I can be saved and so I can focus constantly on your statutes. You discard everyone who strays from your statutes because they are dishonest and false. You dispose of all the wicked people on earth like waste. That's why I love your laws. My body shudders because I fear you. I'm in awe of your rules. Now I'll be placing the Nicene Creed in the comments so we can recite it together. Let us affirm our common faith with followers of Christ throughout the world and all of history in the reciting of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God begotten, not made, of one being with the fathers. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. 
On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And now I'll be putting the Lord's Prayer in the comments so we can recite it together. <clears throat> and now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who is in heaven, uphold the holiness of your name. Bring in your kingdom, so that your will is done on earth as it's done in heaven. Give us the bread we need for today. Forgive us for the ways we have wronged you, just as we also forgive those who have wronged us. And don't lead us into temptation, but rescue us from the evil one. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And let us now continue with the prayers of the people, which I'm putting in the comments right now. <clears throat> Almighty God, you've given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. As always, the refrain, the part of the prayer that we all say together, is in all caps so that you can distinguish it. Lord, we pray for the Worldwide Church, for our congregation, the journey, and for our campus outreach ministry at Graceland University, that we may all be one. We open our hearts so that we may truly and humbly serve you, that your name may be glorified by all people. We pray for all spiritual leaders around the world, and especially for our own pastors, Justin, Sean, Mia, Tim, Lily, Eli, Caleb, and Michelle that they may be faithful ministers of your gospel. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world, especially our President Joseph, our Vice President Kamala, our Governor Mike, our Representatives Joshua, Sam, Emmanuel, and Ray, and those who serve in the local elected positions of our communities, that there may be justice and peace on the earth. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble, especially Robert, who is undergoing CART therapy, Charlotte, who is going through various health problems, Pam's granddaughter-in-law, who has been diagnosed with cancer, Patricia and her son, who have a fractured relationship, the people of Afghanistan, that they might experience peace in the midst of a power transition, for Mike Snyder, whose brother Greg passed away recently, for Nikki, who recently had a hysterectomy, for Don Lowry and her family, for Shelley and her family, for Deborah's housing situation, for Bishop Guido, his wife Trini and their family, for Patricia's granddaughter Americus, for Patricia and her family who are going through a rough time, for Anna Lee and her children who recently lost their husband and father Michael to cancer, for Jeremiah's sister Jennifer who has stage 4 breast cancer, for Brandy and Jim and their family who lost their grandchild Everett, for Jennifer Holloway's husband who is searching for employment, for Jennifer Moore and her family, that they may regain a sense of balance and peace in their lives. For Michelle's uncle Dwight, whose wife Barb passed away recently. For Andy Wiedemann, who lost his mother Diane. And for Cammie, whose husband passed away recently. Let them be delivered from their distress and raise us up as your hands and feet in this world. Let us live in the light of your grace as we go about our daily lives. We especially thank you for your loving provision for Darla as she diligently cares for her mother in the midst of sickness, for Nikki while she performs her daily work as an RGM and as she explores her faith day by day, for Angie as she goes through physical therapy, and for Mia, Tim, Aiden, and Allie as their family adjusts to having Allie at home. 
Let us always remember and live within the grace you are always giving us. Give to those who have passed, especially Greg Snyder, Michael Montier, Everett, Barb Reel, Diane, and those in our communities who have lost their lives to alcohol or drug addiction, eternal rest. Let the light of your love shine on them forever. We praise you for your saints who have entered into joy. May we also come to share in your heavenly kingdom and work to bring it about here on this earth. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by troubles. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. All right, and that concludes daily morning prayer for today. As always, I am putting a link in the comments. There we go. Rethinkfaith.org slash prayer, where you can submit your own prayer request. As always, I'd ask you to specify if they are public or private prayer request. The public prayer request will appear here in the prayers of the people, while the private prayer request I will only share with the Journey's leadership team. But either way, you will have people praying for you. And then also please send us updates so that we can keep praying for you in whatever way is best for you. And that's all I have for today. So to anyone who's been here, thank you so much for being here. And I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. And I will see you tomorrow at 8 a.m. for daily morning prayer.